This video is going to be on ordering decimals and using a cool little trick to make sure we have them all nice and neatly in the right order. And hopefully by the end of this video you might find ordering decimals actually quite fun. How about putting this load of crazy decimals in order? 0 0.2, 0 0.207, uh, let's say 0 0.27, 0.72 and 0.707 lots of randomly confusing twos and sevens how on earth are we going to put that in order in a nice clear way what you need to do is write them one on top of each other so 0.2 we're not putting them in order we're just doing them one on top of each other in whichever order, so 0 0.72 and the last one 0 0.707. Now we have them in order, here's the cool trick. You add zeros to the end until they all have the same amount after the decimal place. So here we can add zeros so they all have three numbers after the decimal place. But won't that change the number? Isn't that what is that maybe what you're wondering? Well, if you add a zero to the end after the decimal place, that doesn't actually change the number. So this 0 0.2 is the same as 0 0.20 and the same as 0 0.200 and all of these zeros wouldn't make any difference. It will still just simplify down to 0 0.2. The zeros at the end after a decimal place don't make any difference. The reason we're adding those zeros is just visually to make it a lot easier for ourselves. Let's add two zeros here. Let's add a single zero here and a single zero here. So we all have, they all have three numbers after the decimal point. Now we can compare them quite clearly. The smallest is going to be the 0 0.200, which was, if we're putting it from largest, from smallest to largest, would be the 0 0.2. Remember that 0 0.2 is the 0 0.200. Next would be 207, which was the 0 0.207. Next, going from smallest to largest, would be the 270, which was the 0 0.27. Next would be the 707, which was the 0 0.707. And finally, the 720, which was the 0 0.72. There we are. They're all in order from smallest to largest all because of that nice little trick. Now, don't deny it, you are having fun. Okay, maybe not crazy fun, but definitely fun. Next challenge, last challenge, because I think you're getting it. 0 0.3042, 0 0.342, 0 0.32, 0 0.4, 0 0.4, 0 0.4032, 0, 3, 0, 2, 3. We need to put these in order. Let's change it to red this time. Put them in order. What's our trick? Our trick was put them all in one long column. So let's write that along the bottom. You need to put them in a column and then add zeros. I'm going to highlight that. Just a good one to remember put it in a column and add the zeros. Here we are. You know me now, I like to fill in the little gaps. Okay, let's put them in, the, in a column then. It doesn't matter which order you put them in, it'll work either way. So I'm going to do it backwards. 0 0.4023, 0 0.4, 0 0.32, 0.342 and 0.3042. Now what do we do? We've put them in a column, now we add the zeros. Here, let's make it so that they all have four numbers after the decimal point. One, two, three zeros needed, one, two needed, and one needed. Now we can simply look at these four digits as if they were thousands. Remember, we haven't actually changed the number by adding the zeros at the end. What would be the smallest? It would be 3042. So 
So the smallest in this group is 0 0.3042. Blue can be put in order from smallest to largest. To largest. That's the smallest. Next would be the 3200, which was the 0 0.32. Next would be the 3420, which was the 0 0.342. And next would be the 4000, which was the 0 0.4. And finally, the 0 0.4023. I hope you'll agree this method really does help in ordering decimals and making them a bit more fun.